Brent, Natalie, you know, we all heard Smokey the Bear say it hundreds of times, only you could prevent forest fires. And with grass up here in the foothills starting to dry out already, these homes are at risk and firefighters want the owners to start getting involved. The first step to fixing a problem is recognizing there is one and preventing wildfires is no different. In fact, according to one Boise firefighter, many wildfires start because people aren't aware they live somewhere prone to wildfires. Wildfires are habitual and will spark up in the same areas time and time again. So if you are in a part of Boise where the city meets the outdoors, it's best to take precautions to prevent wildfires and continuously take those precautions. It's a process. It's, it's not something that you know, it's one and done and, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You have to continually think about what you can do to reduce your risk from wildfire around your home. Prevention tasks include clearing gutters, mowing and wetting the lawn and sweeping up dried out pine needles, amongst other things. Another suggestion from firefighters is to work with your community to make sure everyone's aware of potential dangers and just to look out and be a good neighbor. Reporting in Boise, Jeff Platt, KBOI 2 News. Well, speaking of the firefighters, demolition crews are busy at Fire Station 4 in Boise. Now, that's the station on U-Stick between Maple Grove and Milwaukee. Crews will start work on a new station in two weeks. They hope to have it done in about a year. It's exciting to finally uh, to see some dirt moving and um, um, the project start. Now, the city is covering the cost of the new facilities. Fire crews will temporarily move to a vacant station. It's in Garden City. And if you see fire crews around BSU this week, don't be alarmed. Firefighters are doing high-rise training at the university's Tower Hall dorms. The training prepares crews for, you know, conditions that would be faced during a real tall building fire. This week, they're working on tactics and communications. 